What's up? It's me, Mystery, and a new challenger has entered the fray for a, um, viewer-submitted dungeon in Super Dungeon Maker. So, uh, we have t two codes, two dungeons. I don't know if I'll be able to do both. Might have to do them in different videos, because I don't... I don't really see the point in doing like 40 minute long videos at this at this rate. So uh yeah. Um we will be playing whatever this uh dungeon is called by Toxic Axolotl 17. Uh let's put in the code. I think one is a castle level. Apparently they're really hard. So I wonder whether they're cryptic. I don't know if you can make a like a combat level hard. But I don't know, maybe. The Two Throne Fortress. The old ruins of the Undying God's fortress wheeze with age as the two paths inside slowly fade into view. Do you have the courage to go further inside? Oh my. It's got so much lore already. I can't wait to make my <laughs> Dark Souls inspired chicken game using Super Dungeon Maker. So far, that's that's what's been um, that's what's been speaking to me. <gasps> oh, do we get all the items? In the boss key. Interesting. Nice. So we're all suited up. Oh my. Oh my. Slugs. I don't. I don't really know how the slugs work, to be honest. I just have to bash through most of this. Also, it's dark in this room. Hurry! Damn it! Here we go. All right. Oh, I like this rose. Oh, is this the two thrones? <laughs> it's just a, just a heart. Ooh, that is water, right? <laughs> Can't go that way. Got it. Yeah, it's it's still daytime, so it's kind of hard to see. Oh. Okay. It's a little tight, but I think we can still pull it on through. Nice. Uh oh. Ooh, that's one of those fire guys. Oh my. Oh, this is tough. I wonder if you can change, like, what happens when you die. Ow. No, oh, that's that's kind of clever to put flies in the room where you get the, uh, the on-off switch. I don't think there's anything else in here. I accidentally dodged that. That's really fun, honestly. Okay, that's how you get the floaties. I like how this is kind of linear. And in a way, it is kind of like Dark Souls design. Because when you die, you just have to go right now. You don't have to redo the whole level. Okay, do I have hurts from these? Uh oh. Might not. Uh oh. That was, that was smart, right? That was good. Oh god. This is bad. Yep. Oh. A lot of things shooting at you in that room. Okay, so enemies don't respawn on death either. 
But they did best me. I did, I did die once. Oh, come on. Didn't even get a little frustrating. There is definitely a skill curve to this, though. No. I feel like they have more health. Oh, got a heart. Nice. Okay. Ah, damn. For some reason, I thought it wouldn't hit me. It's the enemy was there. <gasps> no, it still hit me. I got my key, so even if I die, we're, we're chilling. I really do like the design of this. But, um, if it ends after this next key door, I, then, yeah, I might fit in both of them. But I love, I love this castle tile set. It looks so good. And everyone uses it so well, too. I wish they would work on the lore for this game. <laughs> like, just add, add a little explanation for some of the themes, you know? Besides just being a Zelda clone. Uh oh, whoops. Oof. Oh. That was a real. That's a really good idea for an enemy. I appreciate it. so much better at this game. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't even mean to back out. Oh no. What do you do? Can you place a bomb in a bird? Oh no. I put it on the map. Okay, that'll get some of them. Yeah, I can't get hit at all. No! <laughs> Spawned even more! Get back! Get back! Oh, whoops. That worked, I guess. Yeah, you can't get swarmed by these guys. No! Come on! <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> hmm. Oh, god damn it, the floor. Hopefully none of that stuff responds. <laughs> Wonder if you can dodge um over the fire bars. So much stuff I would have to test if I did make levels in this though. Ow. And just like that, we're back. Not bad at all, huh? Oh my god. Oh, you jerk. Oh, they have to go in an order. How many is there? Okay, I think I got them. What does this do? I need this? I don't know. I think we'll just uh, go with the boss now. Oh, it's a whole room! Oh, that's cool. Get back here! Yeah! This looks really nice. It's kind of climactic. 
Galactic Boss Room. Yeah, I'm getting so much Dark Souls vibes. I can't wait. I really do need to start making some stuff. I gotta finish my super first. And you can spawn in new enemies. That's probably why that feature is there. It's really smart for the boss fights in this game. I don't know if Zelda Zelda games really do that. So I haven't played that many. I had a bad experience playing the first Legend of Zelda, but I don't know, maybe Link's Awakening can make me better. <laughs> make me feel better. Oh! Ah! Yeah! Nice. Not bad. There's still spiders. They're everywhere. Get them off. Oh. I have to kill him too. Oh, there's two rooms. I don't think it's over. Wait, what? How's it over there? <laughs> How do you do that? Oh well. Maybe I just don't know where it is. Oh my lord. This is also Dark Souls. <laughs> do they have like any harder base enemies? Like they have like a knight enemy? That'd be cool. Hopefully I haven't seen all the enemies yet, that'd be kind of lame. So is that just a bonus room? Oh nice! A little refill of my hearts. Okay, let's put this to the test. Oh, you can, that's cool. Shoot. Okay. Oof. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah! Nice! Sweet! That was really fun! Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with this dungeon. I don't know whether I should give it a 3 out of 3. A perfect, almost perfect score, you know? Definitely a 2 out of 2, but I mean, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't feel anything wrong with it. I think there should have been a little bit more dungeon aspects to it, but I appreciate a linear level, you know? Um, although one thing I would give it a 2 out of 3 for is there is kind of enemy spam. I understand that this that this level is going for that kind of, like, bulk of enemies. So, um, it, it's meant to be that, like, kind of a Dark Souls vibe. I, I mean, I felt it. I, I, I felt the Dark Souls, the Soulsian, uh, feel to it. So really, it's it's a in between a two out of three and a three out of three. Um, as a Dark Souls fan, a three out of three. Like this is the kind of level that I I um, will probably try to make. Like this kind of style, where it's like kind of linear, kind of not, you know. Um, but yeah, when considering the the enemy spam in some parts. And there's also like no real point to explore, so a lot of the optional rooms are just kind of like whatever. You do get hearts, which are nice, but you always got to keep in mind that the player can die and retry as much as they want, and it doesn't affect the items or the progress they make through the dungeon. So, um, yeah, I think since on-off switches don't um, reset, if you wanted to force people um, to have shortcuts, I think that would be a way to do that. Or force them to where they don't have shortcuts, because you can make them hit the on-off switch to progress every time. Uh, but yeah, that was really good, I liked that a lot. Um, we definitely have time for uh, the other one. Hopefully it's not too difficult, and this will be like a, a super lengthy video, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and Go ahead and do it since that one was a little. Uh, felt a little short. I mean, 
It's 15 minutes into the video. That was a good length. Or, it was 11 minutes. If we consider the timer. Okay, the glorious Garden Grove. One play on this. As you trek inward, your foot feels some, something damp. You move your head down to investigate. And suddenly, a vine leaps out and coils around your leg. I like the storytelling. Um, we'll have to we'll have to see what all that's about. I've never played a garden level, so this should be interesting. And I might be the first one to beat this because it says one. I don't know whether that means that's one play or one clear. I don't know what that means. Garden theme looks nice. I wish the music would actually work. Because it is kind of just off-putting to have the same-o, same-o. Okay, interesting. Looks... feels pretty basic. <gasps> Wait, what? Vines can grab you? Oh, I have a shield. Oh my god, that's broken. <laughs> I might die to this. Wait, I can walk on the green. I can walk on the green. Oh my god. Run. Oh, you can't actually pull that. Ah, it's blocked. Yeah, you can't go that way. Let me through. Let me through. Somehow making it. Somehow making it work. Oh uh, no, I have to kill the spider too. Yeah, just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Come on. There we go. Switch. Ow. Ew. Whoa. Oh, okay, so the key's right here. These buttons do. Oh, hidden chest. Wait, where was that? Oh, I think I see a... Uh... I think I see a bomb spot. I wonder if that's what it was trying to tell me. I don't see anything else. I'll just keep going. Oh no. Yeah, I gotta be careful with the vines. I wonder if they uh, like respawn or something. I'm dead. Ah! Luckily, there's tons of hearts in this grass. the boss key. I don't need that. Ah. I can rarely use that move. I need a bomb or something. Okay. I don't really know where I'm trying to go. <laughs> Still hit me. Let's see if I can get some hearts. Nice. Okay. 
Ah, I got the bomb. Hmm. I wonder how this will work. Oh, it's this one. No, he's stuck. It's a very pretty arena. It's unfortunate that he's getting stuck. Oh my god, what is that? Look at the grass, bro. No, it bugged out. Damn. No hearts. I don't think this is the end anyway. Interesting. Let's take this back here. So they they can kind of make one ways, in a sense, using the buttons like that. Well, I know that there's that one bomb spot. Oh, that's why these are here as well. That's smart. It's kind of fun. Uh oh. <laughs> I like how there's card gnomes. Why is this is also here? I am a little curious. Oh my god, these guys are so annoying. Let me out! Can you just like hold right? I don't think so. Okay. Oh, it's this fountain. Slugs. Slugs. <laughs> no. Oh my god. This is even four. <laughs> no, no. I guess this is is just for the compass, which I I don't know what the compass even does. I'm gonna be honest. I assume it's supposed to show you where the golden egg is, but never had it work like that. Also sucks that that um, resets all the time. Oh no. No! Get the vines away. Oh! Really? That's the end? Huh. Well, I did all that for nothing. Interesting. Well... You know, that was on track to be a solid... Like... Like, I, I was really digging it, and I thought it was a two-parter. Usually, um, well, I say usually like I've done this a lot, but the first uh, viewer dungeon I did, there was two bosses, 
And there was two bosses in B Dasher's other level as well, but I thought since um, the egg wasn't right after the boss that there was another boss, like another part of the level, but he backtracked to the egg. So uh, I, th I still think that's neat. And I think a lot of the um, like the greenery and stuff around the, the level, I think that's really well done. It looks really nice. Um, the vines are annoying, I'm going to say it. Uh, <laughs> I've given nothing but two out of threes at this point. I'll just go and go ahead and say the level before this one is probably my favorite. It it felt like a like a I don't know. It felt like Dark Souls, and you can probably tell I really like Dark Souls because I've said it a thousand times. And um, I don't know. I just I, I understand this is very different, a very different game. But I just got those vibes, and um, that's probably. Um, if you want to get a 3 out of 3 out of me, probably going to have to go for those vibes to, um, to, uh, yeah, get that, get that perfect score from me. I'm a little bit biased. But, um, yeah, as far as, like, a Zelda level goes, once again, there's no real reason to explore. That compass isn't really useful. I'm not sure why it was in there. It's neat that there's that bonus room, but I was kind of hoping there'd be, like, I don't know. Instead of like an annoying room where you get vines all over you, maybe it's like a nice little bonus room that says, um, LOL or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I might make that in my level, but, <laughs> um, yeah. It was a really good, really, really good Dungeon X a lot of life. I appreciate it, um, that you asked me to play it. And, um, yeah, big thank you. And thank you to anyone else who watched this video. It was, um, it was quite the eye-opening experience. Um, since while I would say B Dasher and Axolotl are equally skilled in their dungeon-making abilities, they have very different kinds of levels. And I was not expecting to see, like, this linear kind of style from, um, from this game um yeah it, it was it was really fun so if anyone else has any more levels they'd like to send me i can make a video like this anytime really so yeah um thanks for watching see you all in the next one subscribe if you're new like the video if you liked it and yeah keep making